month's installment of Home Training Tips from Armin Tours Martial Arts. Our word for this month is focus. It's one of our six qualities of a champion that we talk about at the karate school in class. Focus is concentrating on one thing, thinking about only one thing at a time to make sure that you devote all of your energy to that one thing that you're doing. Uh, we talk about it a lot in class, but I think a lot of us forget that we're supposed to do it or we get distracted easily because there's a lot of stuff out there competing for your attention. You know, there's phones, video, internet, music, video games, books, school, homework, karate, sports. There's stuff for you to think about all the time. So you have to really try and you actually really have to actively think about what you're doing to make sure that you focus on one thing and get it done. When you multitask too much, when you stretch yourself too far out, you, your performance suffers. So that's, before we always start karate class here, you know, that's why we like to sit down and meditate and clear our minds uh, to get into the zone for what we're about to do, to really just try to let everything else fade away and um, just worry about what's going on now. So focus is very important, not just at karate, school, work, home, life. And if you can learn to focus and learn to concentrate all of your energy into one place, you'll see that the things you do, you get them done faster, you'll get them done better, and you'll be able to go on and do more, greater, and better things. Our martial arts home drill for this month is a footwork drill, and I'm going to call it two-way footwork. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick a home spot. So I have this white stripe on the mat, and I'm in my stance. And everything I do, I'm going to do the opposite of it. So if I just shift forward, I slide back to my home base, and then I shift back, back to the home base. If I go left, move to the left, come back, and then I go to the right. Okay? And the reason for this is a lot of times we get comfortable on one side. You know, if we're right-handed, we have stronger punches and kicks on one side or if we're left handed the same thing. And we really want to be able to work both ways to be effective as martial artists and to be able to spar and um, you know, defend ourselves if it ever comes to that on both sides no matter what happens. So uh, you can add this, you know, a double move, you can try the one up and left, then you do the opposite, you go back and right. Uh, you can try adding a strike, you know, same thing. And uh, if you can find a partner, you can try it with somebody else too. I'm sure your mom and dad would love to help you with karate if you just ask them. So all you do is you face your partner and whatever I do, Mr. Trent's gonna react. So if I move forward and he moves to the side, we come back and he's gonna copy me and I'm gonna copy him. Okay, then he can pick one. If he moves up and I move to the side, then we come back, I'll move up and he'll move to the side. Okay, and you can go back and forth and you could try throwing techniques again. But remember, you're not hitting each other because we're just practicing at home, we don't have our safety equipment. Our home fitness show for this month, uh, we're going to show you some different variations on the squat and shoot exercise. So Mr. Chris is going to show us a basic squat and shoot first. You're just going to squat down, go back into push-up position, bring your feet in, and then jump up. Okay. Uh, if you want to make it a little harder, you could do what, what's called a burpee. You just go down with the same thing except you add a push-up, and then you come in and jump up. Uh, once you get the hang of that, you can do that without the middle step, straight down to a push-up and then straight back up onto your feet. Okay, and then a couple little more advanced ones. Um, we do these at the karate school, we do elevators. So you go down and do a push-up, you lay back and do a break fall. Okay, you shouldn't hit your head, so it doesn't matter if you have a hard floor. And then you jump up. And then the hardest one, uh, what we have for you is the one-legged burpee. So Mr. Trent's going to stand on one foot, and he's going to go down, do a push-up, and then come back up on that same foot without setting the other one down. And those are going to be the hardest ones. So uh, our student challenge is also at the end of this video. You'll be able to see it. It's different for first, second, and third class. So watch it. Make sure that you see which one you're supposed to do. Okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.